sugar. We take it for granted. We use it to bake and to sweeten. It's our go-to for our coffee drinks and our desserts. But rarely, unless our diet demands it or a recipe calls for it, do we ever give it a second thought. I never did until culinary school when I learned how to blow and pull sugar to create art. It was definitely my favorite part of the training I received. It's something I used often in the pastry kitchen to create those visually pleasing high dollar desserts that are expected at a restaurant on the Las Vegas Strip. But more than that, I like the idea of taking something so common and with steady hands, precise timing and temperature, and a little creativity, turning it into something colorful and beautiful. To me, it's kind of what God does with his creation. When I create something with my hands out of common materials, it helps remind me to look at the common things around me that I take for granted, like the color changes of the sun, the patterns in the starry sky, flowers and trees and birds, even all of us. God is still creating, still breathing, painting, molding life into normal things around us, into me, into you, just like the sugar pieces I create will never come out the same way twice. All of us, too, are individually designed by God.